Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today I'm going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola XT701. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola XT701 procedure. Okay, before we begin, you must have done our how to root the Motorola XT701 procedure. If you haven't, you can click on the link we have there at step one to take you to that procedure. Once you've finished it, you can come back to this procedure to continue. You can actually download the open recovery files. Uh, so you'll see a link there, it says open recovery. Click on that and download those files to your computer. Okay, next we need to plug in our phone via USB cable. And then we're gonna pull down this and mount the SD card, so we're saving memory card access and click OK. So this way you can transfer files to the memory card. Okay, next we're finding the open recovery.zip file we downloaded. We're gonna right click it, extract all, extract, and that should create its own folder right here in the same folder. Okay, next you're gonna open the re open recovery folder, and then inside you'll see another folder. Inside that you'll see two SD card root folder. We're gonna double click and open that, and then take the two files or folders that are inside, and we're going to copy them over to our SD card. And we're copying them to the root of the SD card, not inside any of the folders, so you should see the path up here should be a removable disk and then you should have your two files. Do not rename them, leave them just as they are. Okay, now on the phone we're gonna unmount the SD card by pulling down the notification bar, clicking turn off USB storage, click turn off, and wait for it to prepare the SD card. Okay, now while the phone is still plugged in, we're gonna turn it off. Wait for it to do that. Okay, now we're gonna turn the phone back on by holding down volume down, camera, and then hitting power until we see bootloader mode come up on the screen. Okay, next we're gonna open RSD Lite. Uh, you should be able to right click and hit uh, run as administrator or if you had to do troubleshoot compatibility and you save the settings, then you can just hit open. RSD Lite should then open and it should show connected right here, uh, uh, pointing out that it can see the phone. So now in RSD Lite, we're gonna select the three dot button here and we're gonna look inside our open recovery folder and inside the folders of that. And we're gonna select the .sbf file that's OC or ORCVR XT701, etc. Click open and then click start. And wait for that to finish flashing. Okay, once it's done, it should say result pass and the phone should have rebooted. Okay, now we're gonna turn off the phone. And wait for shutdown. Okay, now once it's off, we should be able to hold down the media button, which is this little button right next to the camera, and power, and keep holding them. Until we get to our custom recovery image, and it should automatically flash uh, and run the new open recovery, so you should have this menu when you're done. Okay, now using the volume buttons to, to uh, navigate and the camera button to select something, we are going to scroll down to Nandroid Backup and push the camera button to select it. Then Backup All and wait for the phone to back up. Okay, once it says backup successful and done at the bottom, we're gonna select reboot system and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone reboots, head over to our Motorola XT701 ROM section. Uh, and you'll see a list of the ROMs that we found. If you find other ones, please feel free to use the contact form to send them to us. Uh, so for this, we'll do the first ROM, the Black Sea ROM. So click on the link there. Uh, it also warns you that it's an Android backup. Make sure you know that. Uh, and click on the link there and then on the developers page you'll see a download link for the actual ROM. Okay, once the phone reboots uh, and we're downloading our ROM, we're going to pull down on the notification bar, click memory card access, click OK, and that should mount our SD card so we can transfer files to it. Okay, once the phone plug is plugged in and the memory card's mounted, uh, and we've downloaded our ROM and it's done downloading. It usually comes in a .rar or .zip format, so we're going to right-click that, extract files, click extract all, uh, and that should open up its own folder with the exact same name. 
We're going to open that. And then inside, since this is an Android uh, backup, you'll have a date on it. It's when the backup was made. And we'll have an Android.md5 file and a system.img file on the inside. As so long as we have that, we can continue. Okay, now on our memory card that we've opened up on the computer, we're going to go to an Android, ADB recovery, and you'll see another file in here. This is the uh, backup that we made earlier, so we're going to keep that there. But we're also going to go grab this file with the date on it that was inside of our extracted uh, ROM file and copy it over inside the folder uh, ADB recovery next to our original backup. And then we're gonna let that transfer. Okay, once that backup is done transferring, we can unplug our phone. And we're gonna turn the phone off by holding down the power. Power off. Wait for it to turn off. Okay, once the phone's off, we're gonna turn it back on by holding down the uh, media button and power at the same time and keep holding them. So you get the recovery screen, which should automatically launch and give you this menu. Okay, now using the volume buttons and the camera button to select, we're gonna Scroll down to Nandroid Restore, push the camera button, and then we're going to choose the one that we just saved on there. If you remember, it started with the S. In our situation, yours might be different, but just know which one it is, and hit the camera button, and wait for it to finish. Okay, once it's done, it should say done at the bottom. We're going to click go back. And then we're going to click Reboot System and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone reboots, you should be running your new custom ROM. Enjoy!